Yo, what's up, YouTube? Artivice Assassin here. Today, I'm giving you a video of a speed test of the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4. Now, I tried to make this test really reliable and fair, um, so the results could be very accurate. Um, and yeah, uh, this is only parts of it, and this was actually done for a school assignment, so yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, I just want to thank all my subscribers for um, allowing me to reach 300,000 video views, and yeah, it means a lot, guys. Anyway, um, we also have a giveaway on right now. Um, if you don't know, the link will be in the description. Anyway, um, here's the speed test. Which iPhone is faster? The iPhone 3GS or the iPhone 4? So, both phones are running on the same operating system, which is 4.2.1. And I also tried to make this more fair by um, resetting the, net, the settings. So, both of these devices are 16 gigabytes, which is the capacity. Uh, and I will be having the boot test first of all. So, just so, just turn them both off. Still springing. So this one's still springing and. So I will click on the button at the same time for both devices right now. Um, one, two, three. So the Apple logo appeared at the same time. So the iPhone 4 beat it. These phones both have the same content and were just restored. Okay, so now the iPhone 3GS has finally booted up. So that means the iPhone 4 has beaten this. So now I will connect to the same internet connection and I will have a web page test. So I have connected to the same internet connection but before we do the speed test we will have to uh, turn off the 3G network. And just turn them both off. You will also need to go into the Safari settings and uh, just clear the history, cat catches and cookies, so it is more fair. You will need to clear your multitasking bar and. And you can see they're clear on both of them. And then you just go back and open Safari. Okay, now I will be going to apple.com. Okay, now. So we will be both going to the bookmarks, which is the default bookmarks, and just click Apple. One, two, three. And you can see that the iPhone 4 has uh, is faster and has already fully loaded just a little bit before the iPhone 3GS. So now I will clear the catches, clear the multitasking bar and do the same process again 
and then I will try the test again. So I had cleared the captures, cleared the multitasking bar and everything and now I will be going to the Yahoo website. So one, two, three. And now on the iPhone 3GS it has load quicker than the iPhone 4. So I have just downloaded from the App Store an uh, application called Speed Test which tests your speed of your internet connection. Now I will and I will begin test. And this is connected to the same internet connection. And now this has more MS here and and the download speed is completely different. So the iPhone 3GS has 3.23 megabytes per second and the iPhone 4 has 0 0.7 megabytes per second. Now the upload speed for the iPhone 3GS is 0 0.5 megabytes per second and the uh, for the iPhone 4 it is 0 0.20 megabytes per second. So I will do the I am gonna be doing this one more time just to be extra sore. Now the ping for this is 81 and this is 68. And you can see that the iPhone 3GS is beating the iPhone 4 already. So the download speed on the iPhone 3GS is 2.66 megabytes per second and the upload speed on the iPhone 3GS is 0 0.41 megabytes per second. Now the download speed on the iPhone 4 is 0 0.95 megabytes per second and the upload speed on the iPhone 4 is 0 0.39 megabytes per second.